welcome to week three of my PhD vlog. Um, today I thought I'd focus a little more on um, PhD research in general here compared to the UK and what you can expect from the PhD process of getting from um, the beginning of your PhD to the end and the thesis process and publishing and stuff. So um, I already said that here the PhD process is seen as more of a career, so you've got a PhD position and you're a researcher for the hospital. Um, and so although you get some benefits from that system, um, you know, there's a salary, it's not a stipend, you've uh, got kind of the benefits of having employment, so um, that kind of thing. Um, it also kind of increases the pressure a little bit in terms of getting publications and um, what's expected workload wise from the hospital and your supervisor uh, of you. So in the UK system, as I understand the UK system, it's not a necessity, not a um, requirement of you in your PhD to have publications. You have to um, do a certain amount of work, but if you have um, negative results and uh, those kind of things it's not necessarily detrimental to your thesis so you can still write a thesis based on negative um, yeah, negative results. The Dutch system is a little different you are expected to get a certain number of publications so for a lot of publications especially in the higher end or the higher impact factor journals you're, you need to have positive results, like a lot of journals don't publish negative results. So in that aspect, um, for Erasmus for example, I think you need one first author paper in a high-ish impact factor journal, um, and you need another a second author paper as well, and each paper has to contribute to a chapter of your thesis. So um, the British thesis kind of it it's like huge it's it's a you're writing a textbook pretty much and um it's a long thesis you're you expect you're expected to pour a lot into that um here theses are made up of the papers that you've published and you write a kind of um introduction rounding them all up and introducing them all and then a conclusion that rounds them all and draws kind of one main conclusion from all of your different publications so as an example here are two Dutch theses, theses. Um, they're about this thick, they're A5, um, they're not huge and inside they're made up of scientific papers um, and acknowledgement section, you know all the, um, the bits that you would expect from a thesis in the UK but the chapters are your papers that you've published um, which means that they're not that thick. <laughs> Um, so in contrast to the A4 pretty thick uh, UK thesis, this is quite small. Um, what's slightly different as well is that you can um, print out about 100 or more of the copies of your thesis and you give them to all your friends and your family and everyone that you want to come to your defence as well as everyone in different departments of the university that you know, um, other PhD students it isn't just you and the examiners, it's an audience full of your family and friends and everyone that you want to be there and it's kind of um, more of a celebratory day, celebratory, celebratory, whatever. Um, it's a day where you're just uh, gonna get your thesis, uh, gonna get your PhD, sorry. So you invite everyone to this um, presentation, you give a 15 minute presentation summing up your thesis, what's in that, and your experiments, and your conclusions. And then you have your examiners, or your, your panel of um, people, um, that are professors from various departments, and your supervisors generally, um, and your two promoters. And they will all have a certain number of questions that they ask you. So you give your 15 minute presentation, and you have pretty much 45 minutes of questions. and then after you finish that and you've answered all the questions it's over and you get presented with your PhD. Um, in the UK I know that the the Viva process is really stressful and you have like either a one-on-one -on -one or a two-on-one -on -one interview for however long it takes for them to be satisfied that you know your thesis. Um, so it's 
quite different here, a lot less, um, well, a lot less pressure at the thesis part, but I think a little more pressure throughout your PhD to get publishable results. Um, so I think that's all I want to tell you about that. Um, overall, I think the PhD process sounds a little nicer here. I haven't gone through the whole thing, so I don't know, and I haven't gone through what it would be in the UK, so I don't know. But while I was um, in my master's, I know that the PhD students were working really hard in the UK f towards their thesis, and there were there is still publication pressure. Everyone um, knows that in science you have to publish or you'll perish. It's that um, environment. But um, here I I see it a little more as you need a certain number of, of publications to be able to get your PhD thesis in the end anyway. Um, so if anyone has any questions about that, um, I know that I don't know um, all of all of the process yet because I haven't got there um, so I'm picking up as some of my different friends in other years um, get promoted uh, get their PhDs then I'm learning more about the process and thinking oh wow okay that's different um, so I'll uh, try and read comments and reply if you have any anything that I got wrong as well then uh, let me know and see you next week for uh, my last PhD vlog bye